Hello students, welcome you to this session. In this video, I am going to teach section formula. One of the very simple area in coordinate geometry. At the same time, it's very important for CBSE and ICC 10th standard students. Let me explain what is section formula. In section formula, we have two formula. One is for internal division, another one is for what? External division. See, first I'll explain for internal division. A, B, A and B are two points. So A is a point, I'm taking it as say X1, Y1. So A is a point, we take it as X1, Y1. And B is a point, X2, Y2. So A and B are two points. And a point P divides internally. The point P lies inside A and B. So we call it as internal division. Suppose P lies outside. So A, B, you extend it and you mark a point P. Then we say P divides externally. Okay. So P divides internally in the ratio. I'm taking the ratio as say M is to N. Then what is the coordinate of P? The coordinate of P is for internal division. How to remember the formula? Please listen carefully. So it is a point, right? P is a point. So it has both X coordinate and Y coordinate. It has X coordinate and Y coordinate. So for X coordinate, what do you do now? M into, you take the X value of the other end you take. Okay, M into X2 plus N into X1. When you take M, don't take the nearer one. M into, you take the other end. M into X2 plus N into X1 divided by, add the ratios. What are the ratios? M and N. So you add them, so you'll get M plus N. So what formula you get? tell me? M into X2, right? M into X2 plus N into X1 by M plus N. Same way, you can write Y coordinate also. For y coordinate also, same thing, but you take y values, okay? So m into, you go to the other end, m into y2 plus n into y1 divided by m plus n. So what's the formula? m into y2 plus n into y1 divided by m plus n. So this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate, okay? So that's all section formula. This is for internal division. For external division, as I said earlier, what is external division if the point lies outside? So listen here, I'm taking two points here. Say one point is A is one point and B is another point here. When you extend, you are getting a point P. So P divides AB in the ratio M is to N. So that is, this is M and this is N. P divides AB in the ratio M is to N externally. Here, what's the formula, you know? Same formula, but only thing, instead of plus, you write minus. So, what do you write? M into, you take go to the other end, right? M into X2 minus N into X1 by M minus N. Instead of plus, you put minus. That's the only thing. Same way for Y coordinate, M Y2 minus N Y1 by M minus N. So this is for internal division and external division, okay? So now, one particular case, suppose it is a midpoint, suppose P is a midpoint, so A is this point, X1, Y1, B is this point, X2, Y2, and P is the midpoint, you know, midpoint means the both the distances are what? Same, M is to N, you cannot say M is to N, you can say M is to M. M and N are what? Same. In the ratio, if both the numbers are same, it is 1 is to 1. It is 1 is to 1. So M is to N, both are equal, so we take 1 is to 1. So what you would say? 1 into X2 plus 1 into X2 plus 1 into X1 divided by 1 plus 1. What is 1 plus 1? 2. So what you are getting? X1 plus X2 by 2, Y1 plus Y2 by 2. So this is the formula to find what? Midpoint. If two points are given, how to find the midpoint? So three formula I taught. One is for internal division, another one is for external division, then how to find midpoint. So next, centroid. How can you find centroid? What is centroid? You would have studied in geometry. Point of intersection of medians. Point of intersection of medians. What is median? 
one vertex is joined to the midpoint of the opposite side, right? So that is median. For a triangle, you can draw three medians. The medians are concurrent, they meet at one point, that point is called centroid. Centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. Centroid, the formula is, midpoint, just add them, right? Only two points given, add them and divide by 2. So here, triangle, three points, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Take the x coordinates, x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. So this is the formula to find centroid, okay? And when you do sums in section formula, sometimes you need distance formula also that you are aware of that. So two points A and B are given. So how to find the distance between them? Root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. And that can be reversed. Instead of x2 minus x1 the whole square, you can write even x1 minus x2 the whole square. Are they same? See, 5 minus 3, 3 minus 5. Are they same? No, because 5 minus 3 is 2, but 3 minus 5 is minus 2. They are not same. But when you square it, you square them, first will be 2 square. What is 2 square? 4. Second will be minus 2 square. What is minus 2 square? That also 4, right? Whole square is there. So x1 minus x2 the whole square. Are you right? x2 minus x1 the whole square. Both answers are what? Same only, okay? And various applications are there for section formula. Even collinear, you can prove using section formula. See, suppose three points are given, A, B, and C. Three points given, they are collinear. So far that it is enough to prove the point C divides A, B in some ratio, internally or externally. If you are able to prove that, then you can say that three points are what? Collinear. Then you can prove a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. For parallelogram, Diagonals bisect each other, right? Diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other means what's the meaning? Midpoint of AC and midpoint of BD. Both are what? Same. Then you can say diagonals bisect each other. They form a parallelogram. Then you can prove, you can find the unknown edge. Suppose this is a circle. So AB is the diameter. C is the center. One end given, suppose A is given, they are asking you to find B. So using midpoint formula, you can find that also, okay? So these are the some of the applications of what? Section formula. Then another important thing, question can be for trisection. What's the meaning of bisection? Dividing into two equal parts, that is bisection, okay? Bisecting point means just one point, that is the midpoint. Ratio is one is to one. Trisection means what? Dividing into two Three equal parts. Suppose I'm giving you a thread. I want you to cut it into three equal parts. In how many places you cut? You cut in two places, right? Suppose this is a given line. AB is a given line. So point of trisection means to divide into three equal parts, you cut at two places, okay? Say at P and Q. How can you find P? To find P, you forget about Q. To find P, this is one part, this is another part. Here it contains one, and here it contains two, so use the ratio one is to two to find P. To find Q, this is one part, and this is another part. So here two parts, here one part, so the ratio is what, two is to one. So to find the point of trisection, M is to N, instead of M and N, first time use one is to two, another time use what, two is to one. Sometimes they'll ask you, divide this line into five parts. So A, B, A, B is a line, Divide into five parts. So how many points? One, two, three, four. So now there are five parts, right? P, Q, R, S. Suppose my question is, find Q. How can you find Q? Totally how many parts? Five parts. So here two parts, here three parts, right? Here three parts. So use the ratio two is to three. Suppose I want yes. How can you find this yes? How many parts here? Four parts. Here, one part. So use the ratio 4 is to 1. Suppose, another question I'm giving you, suppose you want to divide it into 4 equal parts. How can you divide it into 4 equal parts? You need 3 points, right? P, Q, R. How can you find P? How can you find P? You are telling 1 is to 3. How can you find Q? 2 is to 2. That is 1 is to 1, right? Midpoint. How can you find R? 
three is to one. Another easy method I'm telling you, please listen. If, if you want to divide into four equal parts, first you find Q. A is given, B is given. Find the midpoint of AB, you can find Q. Now A and Q, use this A and this Q, find the midpoint, you can find what? P. Then finally, using this Q and B, the midpoint of QB is equal to what? R. Like that also you can do that. Okay, divide into four parts. So these are the two points A and B. Find the midpoint of AB. So you will get this point. Find the midpoint of these two. You will get this point. Find the midpoint of these two. You will get this point. So these are the three points. It divide into four equal parts. Hope you understood all these things. These are the concepts in section formula. Using this, you can answer any question. Okay, now listen. You know the concepts of section formula. Using the concepts of section formula, we are going to do few sums. Look at this first question. Find the coordinates of the point which divides the join of minus 1, 7 and 4, comma, minus 3 in the ratio 2 is to 3. Okay, so these are the points given. A and B are given. P is a point. It divides in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So what's the method, you know? P. The point is, you know, m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n. That's the formula, right? Then you substitute. This is our m, this is our n, this is our x1, y1, x2, y2. Just you substitute, you will get the point. Or you can find x separately, y separately. Finally, you write it as a point. So when you simplify, you are getting 1, 3. So let us go for the next question. See here, find the coordinates of the points of trisection. So A, B is a point, the point of points of trisection of the line segment joining 4, minus 1 and minus 2, comma minus 3. So points of trisection, you know we need two points, right? Points of trisection. One point is P. Another point is what? Q. So these are the two points of trisection. When you find P, you have to use the ratio. You have to use the ratio 1 is to 2. Use the ratio 1 is to 2. The po other points are x1, y1. What is x1, y1 here? That is 4, comma, minus 1. 4, comma, minus 1. And x2, y2. x2, y2. What is x2, y2 here? Minus 2, comma, minus 3. So you can use the ratio 1 is to 2, you can find P. Then how can you find Q? Q is this point, right? To find Q, use the ratio 2 is to 1. To find Q, use the ratio 2 is to 1. That's the only change, okay? So first we are finding P value, use the ratio 1 is to 2. Same formula, so you will get you are getting 2 comma minus 5 by 3. That is the value of what? P. Next, we are finding Q value. When you find Q value, you know the ratio is 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1 and the points remain same. 4 comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 3. Same formula we use. When you use the same formula, you are getting you are getting the answer as 0, comma, minus 7 by 3. So these are the two points of trisection. So you can say the points of trisection are So write them in order. Okay, first you write 1 is to 2. That answer you write. Then you write 
2 is to 1, that answer you write. So, hope you understand all these things. With this idea, you can answer any question in section formula. Meet you in the next video.